Amen. 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 Well, it's story time. Amen. Wish an equal. Amen. Gather round, y'all. Amen. 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 Last time now. Amen. A little quieter. Amen. Glad you're here now. Amen. 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 Hello, everybody. It's so good to see you today. Thank you for joining me. Do you remember our song this week? I have decided to follow Jesus. Let's sing it. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. No turning back. No turning back, my cross I'll carry, my cross I'll carry, till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry, till I see Jesus. My cross I'll carry, till I see Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. Will you decide now? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? Will you decide now to follow Jesus? No turning back, no turning back. Oh, thank you for singing that with me. Tomorrow is a new week, so we'll have a new song. Let's pray. Will you pray with me? God, thank you for giving us the gifts of creation. Help us to learn to live in your creation wisely. Amen. Have you ever seen a horse? How would you describe one if you saw one? Well, in today's story, a someone discovers horses and learns how they can help the community. Let's listen to the story. Tashunka, a Lakota horse legend, told and illustrated by Donald F. Montalo. When Mother Earth was young, all things on her surface were learning their place. One day, a young warrior of the plains was hunting for game to feed his family. But game was hard to find. The winter had been long, and there were few animals in the area close to camp. The young man searched far from home to find new places to hunt. He came to a stream in a wooded area and knelt down to quench his thirst. A sharp noise made him lift his head. Out of the corner of his eye, he glimpsed movement and a flash of color. He froze and used all his skills as a hunter to sense this new game, but he was too slow. Quiet had returned to the woods. The hunter walked toward the place where he had seen something move and found tracks in the earth. They were unlike any he knew. Curious, and needing to find food for his family, 
he followed the trail. For days he tracked the unseen animal, if animal it even was. About ready to give up, he felt the ground rumble. Hundreds of beasts with fire surrounding their heads and flowing from their bodies thundered past him. The whole herd was as swift as the wind. He ran after them, but the animals were faster than he was. He fell farther and farther behind. As he cleared the top of a ridge, he suddenly dropped flat onto the ground. The herd had stopped to drink from a stream just ahead of him. All the beasts shimmered in the sun in colors he had never seen before. Red, blue, yellow, and green flowed along their necks and tails. Their beauty dazzled the young warrior. He followed them for weeks across the plains. He learned their movements and habits. He wanted to catch one so that he could travel as fast as the wind. At last he found himself close to one of the younger animals. The warrior talked to the pony in a quiet voice and rubbed its flank. The pony allowed the young man onto his back and together they learned to cover the miles quickly. The young man trained other horses until one day he noticed that the sun's heat was weaker and the nights were becoming cold. His time away from his tribe and family had grown too long. He gathered his mounts and journeyed home. He whooped as he got close to the camp. Woohoo! Woohoo! and family members ran from the teepees to greet him. They stopped in fear as they saw his new companions. Young and old watched with wide eyes and fearful murmurs as the warrior rode into camp with his small herd of colorful ponies. The young man showed his people how to touch the animals and then to ride them. The tribe began to hunt and travel farther than they had before. They had no trouble finding game. Soon they had plenty to eat and new clothes to wear. The tribe became wealthy and strong. They took pride in their newfound strength. They started pushing other tribes out of their path they claimed lands that before had been used by everyone. All who stood in their way were driven out. The great spirit looked on in sadness. Tashunka, the horse, had been his gift to all the people. Instead, one tribe was abusing the gift. They were growing wealthy while others were going hungry. So the great spirit took the gift away. Once again, all people were the same, walking the earth and finding life hard. They miss Tashunka. Many centuries passed. The elders told the story of Tashunka to the children of the tribe. As they grew up, they remembered the gift of the great spirit, but they also knew that the horse had been taken away because they had used it to hurt others. 
One day a warrior was out hunting. He saw a bright light twinkling in the distance. He worked his way closer and discovered a strange man riding an animal he had never seen before. The warrior remembered the stories of his elders and knew that the animal must be Tashunka, the horse. In the years that followed, more strangers passed through the land. These newcomers brought many horses with them. Soon the tribes had horses once again. The return of Tashunka to the Plains people was the great spirit's way of forgiveness. The people of the Plains became wealthy as the horse re-entered their camps, and great horsemen rode the plains once again. The End So, today a young person found horses and used them to help the communities move and eat. But they didn't use them for everyone, just themselves. And that ended up meaning the horses got taken away. But later, they came back. So it's important, <clears throat> as we have helpers, to make sure we share, right? Animals are good relatives to us. You know, think like cats and dogs can be good companions as pets. Some animals help us uh, eat by giving us milk. What are some ways that animals help you? Well, thank you so much for joining me today. It's been great having you. Well, until I see you again, remember, God is always with you and loves you always. Until next time, remember that you are a gift to us all and let your light shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Well, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Until I see you again, I'm gonna let it shine. Until I see you again, I'm gonna let it shine until I see you again. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.